Whatever you do, don't ask Von Miller about his 2021 contract with the Broncos. Or if you do, you better not imply that he could or should be open to restructuring or accepting a pay cut. The interview won't end well, based on Miller's radio debacle in the middle of the 2020 season. However, the eight-time Pro Bowler's future is very much a front-of-brain issue for Broncos fans and media alike. After missing all of the 2020 season with an ankle injury, the Super Bowl 50 MVP is entering the final year of his contract. Set to earn $17.5 million in base salary, Miller's actual salary cap number is $22.225 million. After earning $23.5 million this past season, as he recovered from surgery, paying him anything similar if there's any real question that he could be sidelined at all next season, is an untenable situation potentially for the Broncos. Complicating matters is his age. Miller will turn 32 in March. His idol and eventual mentor, Demarcus Ware, played until he was 34, but his body gave out on him and he had to hang up his cleats. That doesn't mean Miller will follow the same path, but that's often the way it goes for even the brightest NFL stars well on the wrong side of 30. Vic Fangio, who is expected to return for year three as Broncos head coach, might not have a ton of say in what unfolds with Miller in 2021, but interpreting both the content and tonality of his remarks on Miller, it doesn't sound like he's necessarily preparing his team to feature the star pass rusher. On Friday, Fangio was asked if he expects Miller to return in 2021, replying, quote, I'm sure I'll be asked that, and I like Vaughn. I think one of the most disappointing things of this season was when he went down because I really, really thought he was going to have a really good season for us and for himself. He put a lot of time and effort into the offseason. He had a great vision and focus, and I think if he does the same thing this offseason that he did last offseason, that he can get back to that same point. Close quote. Fangio opted not to answer the question, instead speaking in a general sense that he expects Miller to play in 2021. It's a pertinent question, but one better suited perhaps to GM John Elway. We'll get a chance to hear from Elway on Monday for his annual end-of-season presser. The posture Fangio is taking is one of obliviousness. Elway's could follow suit, but I doubt it. If the Broncos need cap relief this year, in a perfect world, Elway approaches Miller about a short-term extension that would lower his 2021 cap hit without necessarily cutting his pay. With the NFL salary cap set to drop no further than $175 million, teams could be under the gun financially in the wake of a full season without fan attendance revenue. An extension for Miller could lower his 2021 cap hit and defer the hits into the future, spreading them out evenly. Such a move would acknowledge Miller's unique standing with the Broncos as an all-time player and maybe even allow him to eventually retire in the orange and blue, depending on the term of such a deal. Fans would be wise to prepare themselves for possible friction between Miller and Elway this offseason. Then again, the Broncos could simply bite the bullet on the $17.5 million and just let him play out the final year of the contract that made him the highest paid defender in NFL history at the time. We'll know soon. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Chad Jensen.